Well, Junior, looks like Christmas came a little early this year. Oh, I didn't get this stuff from Santa Claus, Pop. I want it off the kids in the neighborhood. You want it? Yeah, we flipped for it. You mean you mean you gambled? Well, no, not exactly. You see, I remembered one of your adages, and I came out winning every time. You didn't use a dishonest coin. Sure I did. You once said, two heads are better than one. So I got this two-headed nickel here, and... Yeah, and... now, I insist that you return this, this, this ill-gotten booty right away. The very idea, Junior, I'm... The... When I said two heads are better than one, I didn't mean to apply it the way you did. Well, what did you mean? Well, take the fable of the centipede and the snail. Every year, the animals and other creatures of the forest would meet in a race to determine who was the fastest of them all. Of course, the results were usually the same. The hare not only won, but he crossed the finish line before the slower fellows even got started. <laughs> How do you like that? Last again. <laughs> You know something? I'm getting sick and tired of being a laughing stock. Me too. I'll tell you what. Let's you and me put our little slimy heads together and see if we can win this thing next year. It seemed like a good idea. So they went into immediate training. Look, one of us will be the trainer while the other one does the running. Fair enough? Yeah, suits me. This was to be determined by clocking each other's speed in a three-yard race. <laughs> well, how'll I do? Not bad at all. You ran three yards in three hours. And now it was the snail's turn. And he was certain he could beat the centipede's time. Three days later, he completed his run. Three yards in three days. He not too good. Well, if I hadn't hit that red light. Thus, the snail became the trainer and the centipede the runner. Now, the first thing we got to do is put you on a diet. Hey, I got an idea. Why do not I eat the same food rabbits eat? If it makes them fast, it'll make me fast. Okay, go eat some carrots. Carrots? Carrots. Now, this centipede wasn't too bright, and the only carrots he knew of were the ones stamped on the inside of an old ring. What in the world are you doing? I'm eating carrots. Fourteen of them, to be exact. Not that kind of carrots. Uh, what's it taste like? Pretty good. Have some. On the day after they were released from the hospital, the boys went back to work. Here, now, hold on to this rocket. Am I going to eat it? Don't be silly. I'm going to light it, and it'll take off with you holding on to it. That'll give you some idea of what high speed is like. You certain I cannot eat it? You can eat it later. Now, hold on. I'm really moving, ain't I? Something's wrong. Must be a dud. Here, let me see it. Gee, that's some rocket. Yeah, let's eat it. The day after they got out of the hospital, they quietly entered a farmer's watermelon patch. Now, we just got to make you run fast. Look, if you were to grab a melon and the farmer aimed his shotgun at you, would you be scared? Of the melon? Of the farmer. You darn right I would. And what would you do? I'd eat the melon. No, you simpleton. You'd run. That's what I'd do. I'd run. Yes, right. And you'd probably run faster than you've ever run before. Okay, grab a melon. Okay. Uh-oh. Sure, I should untied. Here, uh, hold this. Hey, you don't look too good. You don't feel too good. What are you doing up here? We're going to try the high speed bit again. You jump off this cliff, right? Right. That will give you the illusion of high speed. Okay, jump. How do you jump? Well, you just jump. I do not know how to jump. Look, you place both feet, but all your feet firmly on the ground like this, and then you crouch like this, and then you just jump. Like how? Like this. Oh, now I get it. The day of the race finally dawned, and the centipede took his place alongside of the hare. However, when the starting gun sounded, the centipede took off in the opposite direction and joined his trainer behind a tree. Quick, get into this basket. Yes, the snail and the centipede had given birth to a unique idea. A balloon carried the centipede aloft, where a stiff breeze took it and sent it soaring over the finish line just ahead of the shop hare. Unfortunately, the centipede just kept on going and was never heard of again. So you see, son, that is the true application of two heads are better than one. I get it, Pop. Yeah, where are you going, Junior? I'm going to return this stuff and destroy the two-headed nickel. Yes, but you usually have a moral of your own to inject here. I do. Don't put all your legs in one basket. Don't put all your... Oh, that's my boy, Junior.